Hello friends, my name is Serge and welcome in this new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you some very important tips that can help you to speed up your PC. So stick to the end of this tutorial guys and probably you're going to enjoy this tutorial, I'm very sure. If you've clicked on this video means you need it. So guys, stick to the end of this tutorial, subscribe, hit the ring bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video on this how to do technology channel. So let's move on our PC and dive in today's topic. So here we are on my screen guys. The first tip to speed up your PC is to free up the storage space. And to do that, you need to delete those unnecessary files well i'm not going to talk in depth of how to delete those unnecessary files there is another tutorial guys you can find the link in the description where i'm explaining how you can free up the storage space in depth with more details i mean so guys come on this start button here if you're using windows 11 you can come on this start button if you're still using windows 10 you can put your mouse anywhere on this start bar and press left there is a tutorial guys where i'm showing you how you can install how you can upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 and you can also find a free activation key so find the link in the description and watch that to upgrade your windows from windows 10 to windows 11. so here we are press right on your windows button and find run here so there is another way you can run this by pressing windows and r button on your keyboard by pressing those you are going to find this run here you can also find in the main search bar by typing run you are going to still find this run button click on it and it's going to open for you this run and here just type and type them and press ok when you press ok you're going to be they are going to ask you to continue yes give us just give it a permission you are going to be from on this write and delete everything in this temporary file they are unnecessary files guys we don't need them you don't need them for your computer to run properly just continue open again your run and type refresh run it click on continue you can again select all this stuff I select them by pressing ctrl a on my keyboard I select all of them and permanently delete them by pressing shift delete then you're going to delete all of these stuff they are unnecessary files we don't really need them by deleting them it's going to slightly speed up your PC it's one of the reason so I'm going to show you more tips so let's continue the next tip on my list guys is the task manager we don't have only one task manager on our PC guys but let me show you how come down below here on the start button give it a right click and select task manager you can also open the task manager by pressing ctrl shift escape find the link in the description where I'm showing you many many shortcuts come to know them and use your computer like a pro so here we are just press on yes it's going to open for you the task manager and from the task manager you're able to see which application is running on your PC right now sometimes there are some software that are running and we are not aware of maybe it's even slowing down so you can find let's say i found this microsoft edge here so i want just to cancel or to end this task you just press the concern task and come below here find the end button press on it but i need more details to explain you about the task manager so come below here you are going to find more details press on that and you are going to find your things are displayed with more details on the right side here i have very important options here they're showing you in details about how the cpu memory disk so on and so forth about the performance so this way you can see which software is impacting your cpu your memory disk network so on and so forth and from here you can take your decision you can take the right decision and up here you have some you have a menu you have some options here you can see here we have the start up so guys you can also have a problem with your computer running slow because of those start up 
apps. So find in the task uh, here, the start apps, press on the menu. They're going to show you each and every program in your computer, which one is running on the start app of your Windows when you boot your Windows and which one is not. Like here, you're going to see that my Bible verse status is disabled means this one is not running because recently i disabled many apps on my computer so i'm going to find that many apps are already disabled like this one the status of the current status of my bible verse is disabled and you're going to see that the startup impact of this program there is no impact so let's say like this one here is enabled and the impact is just medium so they are showing you the status and they are also showing you how much it impact it can be down it can be non it can be medium it can also be high so this way you know how and you how you can enable or disable the program on the startup you can just scroll down and find more apps here and their status and how they impact your pc so this way you can disable and it's going to slightly speed up your pc i told you that we have another we don't have only one task manager your browser also actually has a task manager so to find that you can either press shift escape or you just come on the top here press right and find right below here browser task manager you can see the shortcut is short up here so press on the browser task manager it's going to open your browser task manager you see so in this task manager they are going to show you all the processes that are going on and their impact on the memory cpu network so on and so forth so this way you can find which task you want to end like this one i can just press the task and come here and the process same as in your system task manager so that is it so the next on our list to speed up your pc is the windows security guys actually windows security just type in your message for windows security and you're going to find this windows security run it so guys actually windows security comes up with a powerful tool that can perform any security action that any antivirus out there is performing with its virus and threat protections firewall and network protections so windows has all the necessary tools that you need for the protection of your windows so you can from these windows security tools scan your computer and find out the threats the fifth tip on our list is the high performance mode actually windows comes up by default with a balanced mode that is to save your energy but it's really not necessary for you to keep it that way you can either choose whether you want to gain in performance of your computer or save your energy so to do that just come in your settings you can open your setting by pressing windows key and i key on your keyboard guys you can find a lot of shortcuts in that video if you watch it the link is in the description once more again and in power and battery you're going to see your power mode come on the left side here because i'm using windows 11 but you're going to find actually the same thing in windows 10 as well press here you're going to find this first option is balance and the other one is best power efficiency so I've set it to best performance mode. So this way you can choose which option is better for you. If you want to gain more in energy, so you can use this balanced mode. So it's controlling over your power consumption and your performance as well. But if you want to increase in performance, then you need to choose this performance right here. Next tip on my list is to uninstall those unused software. So type in your main search bar, remove app, and you're going to find the best matches right there. Press on it, and from here, you're going to see all the installed applications or software on your PC. You can also sort them by size or by install date. I think in this case, we need to sort it by size. By sorting them by size, then you know, each software and how much amount of size it takes in your 
memory space so this way you know how to decide which one to delete and which one to keep and you're going to find here which one you don't really use and then you can easily click on that and uninstall it right yes guys the next tip on my list is to update your windows system you know microsoft keeps on improving the performance of its platform so guys if updating your windows operating system is very important and to do that you just type in your main search bar update find the best match here and type on check for update you're going to be dropped on this screen and on the top right here you can check for update by pressing there you have also advanced options here by pressing on this you're going to be dropped here you see you can receive update for other microsoft products if you check this on you can also get up to date restart as soon as possible blah 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 so read these options guys you can also go ahead and set your active hours so windows knows that in those hours it cannot interrupt you with updates so this way guys you are going to be more safe and it can help you speed up your system the next secret guys that can help you to level up your windows performance is by adjusting the visual effect performance just like this in your main search bar adjust the appearance and performance and you're going to find this option right here open this they are going to be dropped on these options right here as you can see it's all about visual effect so by default windows will choose for you the best option for your computer as you can see right now these two are, are selected but you can see below here you have two more options one is to adjust for best appearance if you want to use i mean if you want to keep your best look of your windows then you can go ahead and press on this when you press on this you can see that below here all the options are now selected but if all you are concerned with is this performance then you can go ahead and select this option while selecting these options you are going to check off all these options means there is you're going to reduce the beauty of your windows appearance but if you want to adjust uh, your appearance then you can press on this here then you are able to choose which one you want to keep in appearance which one you want to keep which one you want to remove and after you've selected you have customized your visual effect you can go ahead and press apply and then close this window so guys the next on my list is the graphics setting so just type in the message for graphics settings find the best match here and just press on this option if you're using windows 11 it's actually going to ask you to press change default graphics settings but if you're using you have to press here if you're using windows 11 but if you're using windows 10 these options here shows as soon as you press on graphic setting option so here you can see that it is hardware accelerate gpu scheduling you can see it's reducing the latency and improved performance you will need to restart your pc to have your changes take effect after pressing on ok you can go ahead and switch it on since you want to reduce the latency and improve performance so in windows 11 you just have to press on that option here right here to to check it on and off but if you want to make the change for each app then you have to press on the app and press on options by pressing on options by default let windows decide high performance for example and if you want to save i mean to save the power you can go in power saving but if you want this option i mean this program here with android studio to use high performance then you have to select high performance then you are going to use your graphical card so the next on our list maybe the last one is to reset your pc so guys i think by resetting your pc it can also speed up your pc a little bit remember when you first bought your pc it was not this low as it is right now right so by resetting your pc it's going also to delete those unnecessary files well you can reset your pc and select let me just show you 
just type reset in your main search bar reset so find the best match here you can press on reset this pc you see you have here reset this pc just go ahead and press on reset pc things are almost the same if you are still using windows 10 right now i'm in windows 11 again i repeat guys if you want to upgrades from windows 10 to windows 11 find a free tutorial where i'm showing you how you can download install windows 11 i also have another video where i'm showing you the free keys for different versions of windows 11 so you can go ahead and download them free of course and enjoy windows 11 so here we are guys just press on yes and you can see here you can choose the option you can choose this option to keep your files so it will remove apps installed software on your pc and those settings that you've set on your pc they are going to be removed but it will keep all your personal files like photos like videos and other personal files that you have in your computer but if you decide to delete everything absolutely everything and permanently on your pc then you can choose this option this second option but both the ways it's going to reset your computer and it's just going to be fresh so this is it for this tutorial guys if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe hit the ring bell guys so that you get updated when we release a new video on this how to do technology channel thanks for watching again see you in the next video guys